So, in today's video, I want to talk about Unexa. And this isn't the video I had planned for this week, but once I was alerted to this particular YouTube channel, I thought it would be an appropriate time to issue another warning about this Ponzi scheme. Now, I've broken down this Ukraine-based Ponzi scheme posing as a legitimate Melbourne-based company in a previous video, and if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to that one down below. Now, I want to introduce you to this channel that goes by the name of NFT Tigers. The About section for this channel states, A YouTube channel is home to latest crypto projects, AI and blockchain technology, best decentralized exchanges, spotting early stage crypto gem. And as usual, they have their get out of jail free disclaimer. Do your own research before investing in any project. Now the big issue I have here is this channel has nearly 400,000 subscribers. And right now, as of writing this script, I am looking at a video titled Unexa, a perfect opportunity to earn 0.6 to 3% daily. This video was posted three days ago and has 14,000 views. Now let me say that again, 14,000 views. Maybe three of those views are mine because I've watched this a couple of times now <laughs> and a few interesting points stand out. Straight up, the video begins with the NFT Tigers intro where it specifically states digital marketing expert. Now around about eight and a half minutes in, this dude signs up an account. And so it appears he is not actually a user of this platform. Well, not before making this video at least. So here we are on Coach Safi's video. And when Coach Safi posted a video about Unexa, she already had an account. And as you can see, she has both a balance and team volume figures. So whether or not Coach Safi is being paid to promote this scam is unclear. But it does appear she is a user of the platform and by promoting her affiliate links she has been actively working to grow her pyramid. NFT scammer on the other hand appears to be a stooge, a shill, a plant. He is not using this platform. He is not promoting his affiliate links and if we check the links in the video description None of these Unexa links have affiliate codes. So why would he create a 15 minute video promoting this product? Is he being paid much? If we jump to around the 11 minute mark, this dude hits the nail on the head. Just as he starts waving around the ASIC company registration certificate, he says this. Because uh, I faced many questions uh, uh, recently that um, you promote many projects, but there is no documentation. So that's why we decided to introduce a card that those projects that have all the detail regarding their company and their profile, their registration. So each and everything should be uh, perfect because you are investing. It's a matter of your investment. So that's why. I face many questions recently that you promote many product without any documentation. If we have a look through his back catalogue of videos, you can see this is what he done. He pushes get rich quick Ponzi schemes. And even if we have a look at the hashtags associated with the Unexa video, two in particular stand out to me. The first one is Forsage and the second one, GS Partners. And for those of you unaware of the Forsage scam, let me show you this press release from February 2023 by the United States Department of Justice. Forsage founders indicted in $340 million DeFi crypto scheme. Now, I won't go into the specifics of this press release. I'll leave a link to this down below. But according to court documents, as alleged in the indictment, the defendants aggressively promoted Forsage to the public through social media as a legitimate and lucrative business opportunity. But in reality, the defendants operated Forsage as a Ponzi and Pyramid investment scheme and took approximately $340 million from victims slash investors around the world. And for those of you unaware of the GS Partners scam, let me show you this document from November 2023 by the Texas State Securities Board. And I'll also leave a link to this one down below. Securities Commissioner Travis J. Illies filed an emergency enforcement action to stop an ongoing international investment scheme threatening immediate and irreparable public harm. GS Partners promoted the products through a multi-level marketing scheme paying lavish commissions from up to seven different sources according to the order. Now, doesn't this all sound familiar? Okay, okay, so at this point in my investigation, I figure it's a good time to have a look at Social Blade. 
Social Blade is a platform that shows both current and historical data relating to social media accounts, including the NFT Tigers YouTube channel. NFT Tigers has 346 uploads, 396,000 subscribers, 5 million video views based in the United Arab Emirates. It's categorized as an educational channel and was created back in August 2016. But further down, we can see the subscribers for the last 30 days, negative 1,000. If we scroll down, we can see the subscriber count historical data, and we can see that this negative 1,000 subscribers has been a common trend for the past two years. And this channel has not gained one single subscriber. Not one. Now, I admit, my channel is nowhere the, near the size of this one. But look at my subscriber counts. They tend to align with my monthly views, which makes sense. When I post a popular video, people tend to subscribe. This is organic growth. There is nothing organic about the figures on this NFT Tigers channel. Now, one thing I nearly missed here, and it wasn't until I was sharing this on our Discord server, that I noticed the URL seems strange. It's https colon double slash socialblade.com forward slash youtube forward slash c forward slash spot on official. I nearly missed it, but this YouTube channel had a different name in the past, spot on official. And we can verify this if we come back to the NFT Tigers YouTube page and look at the about section. The telegram link is t.me slash spot on underscore Sayed. So they've updated the YouTube channel name, but still use the old Telegram link. Now you may be asking, why would they do this? Well first, let's see what Spot On actually is. Searching for Spot On Official returns this Instagram page for Spot On Digital Agency. Here they say Spot On Official, advertising, marketing, your go-to lead generation and digital agency. This business states they are an advertising marketing business located in the United Arab Emirates. That's a strange coincidence. Now, before we go and look at their website, I just want to show you this post first. We're hiring. We are currently hiring for the below position of with a strong emphasis on communication skills and proficiency in MS office. Telecaller come administrator. So if you have experience in telecaller come administration, Give spot on a call. Just make sure you clean the spots off your sheets because no one wants to lay in that. I'm, I'm sorry. If you want to go and unsubscribe now, I will understand. But I didn't write this. I didn't make this. Please don't blame me for that. Anyway, where were we? They have a website. Spotonminusagency.co on this website, they say they have seven years of experience, 12 team members, 300 project completed, and 750 satisfied clients. I'll bet they're satisfied. <laughs> okay, okay. I promise, no more jokes about the administration job. <laughs> but seven years experience takes us back to around the 2016-2017 era, the same time the Tigers NFT YouTube channel was created. Now, I know this is all just a coincidence and I have no evidence to prove that this YouTube channel is just a shill for this marketing company to push bullshit Ponzi crypto schemes. And I can't prove they're manipulating YouTube subscriber counts to legitimize their bullshit channel, but it sure as hell looks like it. And if they are, YouTube has very clear rules around paid product placements, sponsorships, and endorsements, where they specifically state, you have to let us know if you include any of those by selecting the paid promotion box in your video details. And we've all seen that paid promotion indicator appear on the top left corner of a YouTube video. It doesn't appear on these videos. So I thought this was going to be a video about Unexa, warning people to stay away from this investment scam. And that is still the message I want to share. But this has also turned out to be an expose on this shitty YouTube channel. NFT Tigers is a shill by definition. A shill, also called a plant or a stooge, is a person who publicly helps or gives credibility to a person or organization without disclosing that they have a close relationship with said person or organization. NFT Tigers should not be trusted. And honestly, 
YouTube should step in here and do something about their breaching the terms of service. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. And thank you all for your wonderful support. We'll catch you in the next one.